Hey Virgo, welcome back to your reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Uh, if you want to get a personal reading, I am running a special for December. The link is in the dis in the description box <laughs> below this video. Okay, let's hop right into this. Um, you guys, I'm going to do a Celtic Cross reading for you. Just kind of felt called to do it. But I am using my new Christmas deck, so if you don't know about it, I will show you. I got it off of Etsy. If you're interested, you can just go to Etsy and look it up. It is called the Winter Wait Glitter Edition. So I know these cards are super awesome. Love them. All right, so let's get into your reading. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let's just see what plays out here for you guys, okay? Let's just get it get it going. All right, take a look at the past position. So you've got the Hermit. That's your card, okay? That's you for sure, Virgo. Current, you have the High Priestess. The challenge is the Five of Cups. Driving the reading is the Queen of Cups. Okay. Highlighting is the Three of Pentacles. Coming up, near to the future, you have Judgment. Position of you, you have the Knight of Cups. External to you, you have the Two of Cups. Hopes and Fears, you have the Empress. And the Two of Pentacles with the world as your outcome. Okay, bottom of the deck, you've got the Fool, Virgo. So definitely in this position of embarking on a new adventure in December, maybe taking a trip or traveling, freeing yourself, taking a huge risk of some sort, um, and being a bit kind of like reckless. <laughs> not a bad way, but I mean, all the signs are there, but for you to not do something, but it looks like you're like, nope, I'm doing it. I don't care. I'm taking this chance. Okay. It may not be a bad thing. Um, look at the little doggy here. How he, the little doggy is trying to tell the fool here don't do it don't do it watch going off that cliff you might get hurt but you're just kind of like i don't care what's what have i got left to lose at this point i feel like that's your overall energy in december and that is aquarius energy you also have the sun underneath there so it looks like it's whatever you're planning to do or whatever risk you decide it's not planning let me take that back whatever risk you're deciding to take you may not even know about it right now it might come up later it looks like it's going to be a good thing it looks like you coming out of your comfort zone and just basically saying you know what f it all i'm doing it i don't care i'm not gonna let anything hold me back okay so in the past you have the hermit virgo so it looks like maybe you just did a hell of a lot of reflecting keeping things to yourself doing a lot of thinking overthinking isolating yourself in your past uh, or behind you however it could have been yesterday could have been the past six years however long just kind of keeping to yourself hermiting self-reflection looking at yourself that kind of thing um the current energy is the high priestess so you you know virgo i feel like whatever past things you've been taking a look at you have figured some stuff out You've got some answers. It looks to me like you're keeping it to yourself, though. But whatever you've been reflecting on in your past, it looks like you've figured stuff out. I don't know exactly what that might be, but now you're in the position of from the Hermit to the High Priestess where you're like, yes, I know. But you're keeping it to yourself. I don't feel like you're sharing what you've come to learn with anyone currently, right now. And you're just like, you intuitively trust what you've come to understand either about yourself or a particular situation or just in general in your life. And I don't know, Virgo, it's like behind the veil. You're just keeping very silent at this time. Okay. Now what's crossing you is the Five of Pentacles. So the real challenge here. It feels like the challenge for you is, how can I say this? Maybe it's a fear, but there's something here about not being left out in the cold 
it's almost as if you are not saying anything from what you've figured out or what you've come to know because you don't want to put yourself in a position where you're in a in like in a struggle right hmm this is interesting what have you come to find out maybe, maybe for some of you it's about yourself but for others it might be about a person another person place or a thing it's almost as if it's telling me if you say something you risk you if you say something you risk being troubled by it getting out but but your overall message was taking a risk virgo it looks to me like so far you're going to say something Look at this. I feel like you're going to like let it out. You're going to let something be known. That's what I said in the beginning, taking some kind of risk. And maybe others are saying, or there's a, your, your conscience is telling you not to do it. Yeah, it looks like you're going to do it. It looks like you're going to say something. This could be, um, it feels like, the reason for not saying anything or not opening up to a person, place, or thing about a person, place, or thing or um, about yourself is the risk you might get rejected or you might um, be abandoned or you might feel like, you know, like you're kind of in between right here with the high priestess. Like, okay, if I say this, I'm going to risk, I might lose everything. Well, that's what a risk is. But it feels to me like with the fool and the sun, looks like you should say something <laughs> because it's got a positive outcome in some way. Like it needs to be spoken. You've been keeping quiet. You've been keeping quiet here before. You're still keeping quiet and you know why you're keeping quiet. You know what I kind of feel like? Some of this is about with the Queen of Cups driving this reading. I feel like this has a lot to do with opening up how you feel, sharing some feelings or a, a feeling about something. Yeah, because Queen of Cups, that's a very emotional card, but she's got a lid on this cup here. She keeps her feelings and her emotions within. You see that lid on there? That's the little robot that I can't unsee, that cup. That chalice has a lid on it. And it's like, should I? Should I open up and, and speak my mind, express how I feel? It looks like um, you might have this fear, like if you do it, I'm not feeling fear. It's more like you're objectively looking at it and saying, well, if I do this, this could turn out really bad. This could make things even worse. Whether it's expressing love or expressing anger or expressing whatever, whatever emotion you have going on that you're keeping within, I think it looks to me like you're going to do it with that full card now. You do have the three of pentacles here. So there could be a situation that involves, this situation might involve, or might involve work or some other people. It could also involve, involve a committed relationship that you're in currently. Um, it could also involve a committed relationship that somebody else is in. Uh, for some of you, I just heard, you might want to tell a friend or someone you're close to um, about some infidelity that's going on. Um, or if there is someone's doing something, they're broke or they're stealing from their company or, or a place you work or stealing from you and you may have to say something. You might not want to. <laughs> yeah. And that's the overall message that I'm getting in this present time. It could have something to do with a school situation, education, um, a work situation, a, a marriage commitment, yours or somebody else's, or a relationship, some type of commitment. All right, so here's what I'm here to tell you. The result of that coming to you going forward is judgment. So, it looks like, Virgo, if you were to 
say something, open up and say something, judgment will come down on that. Or judgment, a judgment will be made. Okay. Um, give me a second here. I mean, the truth will come out. That's what I'm hearing. Even when I look at this judgment card, the truth is going to come out. If this has something to do with a friend, you know, if, if you open up, whatever the situation is, if you open up and say something, like it's going to be taken seriously. That's what I have to tell you. Um, because that's what judgment is. This is like a big deal. This is basically final clarity, acknowledgement. It will be acknowledged, but it will release a great deal of, um, I don't know if it's frustration or just pent up energy. It might be pent up energy within yourself because with the hermit, I feel like, and even with the high priestess, I feel like you have been and are carrying around this thing for quite some time. Now look, your advice here is the Knight of Cups. Your advice, Virgo, is to go with love, with whatever you are taking a risk here in doing. Okay, If you are trying to express your emotions or express romantic feelings for someone, I feel like it will be taken very well. And I feel like with the truth and clarity coming out, I feel like this is a really good thing. I, I feel like you don't want to take the risk of seeing something because you might lose out or be left out in the cold. But I don't really feel like that's going to happen because the person on the receiving end of this message that you give or this risk that you take, two of cups is here. So this is a coming to agreement this is a meaning of the minds this is mutuality so if you're expressing your feelings towards someone or your affection towards someone i feel like this person feels the very same way and they will express that in return um, i feel like somebody will want to meet you to talk sit down and talk with you get together tell me more kind of a, a scenario um you know, if you are opening up and, and telling someone some bad news, if it's bad news, I feel like if you go with love, I feel like there will be an understanding from the other person. Yeah. Okay. So you've got the Empress here. And if you're going with love and expressing your emotions, like I said, I feel like the other person, that if you're expressing them to somebody else, is gonna, it will express them in return. The same. The very same. They feel the same way about you. Now, your hopes and fears. So you have the Empress here. So that's a, that's, It's a different element than the high, the high Priestess. But it's a three, and it's about communication. So it kind of makes me feel like you're, you're hoping that you'll be able to express yourself with grace and candor and class. <laughs> you fear you might <laughs> not come across that way, but the Empress energy is... You just... It feels like you hope you'll be your best. You hope you'll be seen by someone this way. Um... Because the Empress is someone who is very nurturing and loving and understanding, you know? You may fear like, oh no, that's not going to happen. Or if this is a scenario that involves another woman, uh, if you're a female and this involves another female, you might feel like, um, I'm, I'm just hearing something along the lines of like an ex- a jealous ex. You might fear that someone thinks that you're doing something if... Like if you have an ex-partner that's with someone else and you know something bad's going on and you want to express that to, to your ex-partner and you have a fear that their partner will accuse you of being a jealous ex, that kind of thing, they're just telling me. Um, but, you know, these are hopes and fears and I feel like, 
I feel like hope and fear is necessary, but I don't, I feel like it can change with the hopes and the fears, you know, um, you can make your hopes, turn them into destinies, you know, and your fears, you can live them out too. So it's really just a decision. The outcome though, you have the two of pentacles and you have the world. So this is weighing the, all the options and this is for you and the person who's on the receiving end of what you have on your mind and what you're wanting to let out. Weighing the options, balancing things out, making a decision to walk away from the past and have a new brand, a brand new beginning. Yes, so uh, this feels to me, I just want to get one more card. Oh, there you go. This ends beautifully. This is like, this is one of those Christmas Hallmark movies that she's, you, you know, you watch. I have a friend that she's just like, every year, I'm going to watch my program, <laughs> my Hallmark program. So uh, this outcome is beautiful. Two people making a decision. The twos are always about partnership to have this like brand new start. So a friendship gets stronger because of honesty, integrity, truth, and love that's being told and shared about something that you want to hold deep within and you don't want to share because you fear of being rejected. Um, it turns out beautifully, Virgo. So I don't know exactly what you have going on in your mind or what's on your heart at this time, but if you've been kind of hemming and hawing around, like, should I say it? Should I tell this person? Should I open up? Should I share this? I feel like um, it looks like you're going to do it. It does. It looks like you're going to take a risk. Holy shit. <laughs> Pregnancy card just came out. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I think enough said there for some of you. This might have something to do with someone expecting a baby. Okay. And we do have the Empress here, which can represent motherhood. So for some of you, this surrounds that topic. Okay, yes, this reading was just, I don't know, it just flowed beautifully. Um, okay, let me see if there's anything else that shows up. That just was very surprising because that did not even cross my mind or my heart or my intuition whatsoever. But it looks like for some of you, it may not be your pregnancy, like it could be. You might find out you're pregnant and be like, oh, should I tell them? I don't know. Or it could be you finding this out about somebody else. Okay. I'm not going any deeper with that. And then you've got, they'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. All right. So someone that you might be waiting to hear from, well, they'll be returning. Now, pregnancy, let me also say, pregnancy is also... Um, not necessarily about actually being pregnant, even with the high priestess. This could be the start of the birthing of something new, a new idea, a new plan, a new relationship, some new beginnings. And you do have the world here. Some of you might be wanting to share your emotions or just simply ask somebody out that you've been hesitating about, not sure how it would turn out, needing a little guidance about that, and it looked like it was going to turn out good, that it would be, you wouldn't be rejected. You might reach out to someone, or you may have already reached out to someone, hoping to hear back from someone, and it looks like they will respond to your message, because there is a little envelope here with a heart. Could be a text message, could be actual mail. Um, and then you also have, you have give it time, everything in divine timing, let, th let things flow and you have patience. Just a few more months. Good things come to those who wait. Ooh. <laughs> and months does make me feel like possible pregnancy. Okay. Some of you might want to tell someone you think... You might be pregnant or you might be with someone who could get pregnant. You might be wondering or asking them if they are. Um, <laughs> there is something going on here for sure. Hold on. Okay. So we've got earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
Okay, significant signs showing up here. Signs, you or you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or this situation could involve another Earth sign. Let's see what else. Interesting reading today. So this is for the month of December. I know some of you are like, I, I, I'm at that age where there is no pregnancy. I'm not having children. That's fine. It may not be that scenario for you. It could just be the beginning of something new starting. Okay. And you've got manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want. Yes. Key word, exactly, when manifesting. Be specific with the universe. Okay, some of you are moving. There's a change of res resonance. Moving in with your partner. One of the two. Let's see. Anything else for Virgo? Okay, and you've got intimacy, sexual chemistry, and reminiscing. Wow, okay. This could also be about wanting to start a family for some of you. Um, let's get a couple more messages here. Okay, you've got keys on a ring. Many options, a decision, one night stand. So there might have been a connection, a physical intimate connection with someone, like a one night stand that could end up in pregnancy or a possible or a scare. Okay, this situation might be involving that. Could be keys to a new home. Holy You've also got twin flames, yin and yang, zen balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other. For some of you, yeah, involving a twin flame, for sure. Okay, wow, I can't believe this. There you go. This is what this is all about. Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. So, listen, someone is someone going to be shocked by something you reveal? It looks like it. Is it a bad thing? Not necessarily. Um, it looked like it was going to be a good thing, this news that you share. I feel like, Virgo... Um, I'm not definitely like I don't I'm not telling you to definitely share something with someone you know I'm not like I'm not telling you to do that but if you have something on your heart or something that you feel like needs to come out I can tell you one thing keeping something deep within um, that needs to be shared keeping that suppressed it will eventually come out um, in probably one of the worst ways. Um, so, or it will manifest within you and die like a cancer, like a rot in your soul. Um, I know there are some things in the world that we take to the grave, but I don't always think that that, that should be, this is just my opinion. I don't always, I feel like if, if you're not even going to write it down or find a way to channel it, it will live inside you and take on a life of its own. So you do what you feel like you need to do is best for you, of course. Oh, strange sounds. Okay. So you've got acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. So I do feel like they're saying, and I feel like they keep saying this, that whatever is, whatever is coming out of you, I feel like it will be accepted by another person, people. Um, it will be accepted. Okay, that this whole scenario and this entire situation, whatever specifically it might be, it looks like it's um it's happened for a reason. Some of you've got marriage here, relationship moving towards a sacred union because of this opening up. Let's see. Oh, and now you've got twin flame again. That's twice. So for some of you, it's a twin flame thing. <laughs> I know you love to hear that. I know you love to hear that. For some of you, it's a twin flame thing. All right, let's take a look and see what this person and you Chinese signs are. What are the Chinese signs? Okay, year of the dog. 
Year of the Monkey. If you don't know your Chinese sign, just Google uh, Chinese zodiac sign and put in the year of your birth. Okay, rabbit, horse, monkey again, dragon. I gotta fix my screen saver, it's terrible. Rat, a snake, and a goat. Okay, very interesting, Virgo. Always something. All right, let's get some. See what names and numbers and what comes out here. Okay, someone's born 1970. Someone is 33 years of age. So we have the the letter Y, the letter Q, the letter E. This could be initials, your initial, or the person on your mind or in your heart. Okay, we've got the letter H. We have the letter A, and we have M. Okay, ham. Okay. <laughs> 1987, significant year. Uh, the age 29. Okay, September 9th. All right, someone goes to AA. Okay, we have the letter V. Let's get some. All right, someone was born in June, or is due in June, I should say. Okay. 46, age 46, age 53. Let's see if we can get some zodiac signs here. You guys were so funny yesterday. I saw a lot of your comments in regards to the sexual orientation from yesterday's reading. Um, and a lot of you were like, oh my God, I hope my partner's not gay. Is that what they're going to tell me? Like, I don't really know if that's what they were going to tell you. I didn't pick that up in the reading. But if you picked it up, maybe that is. <laughs> okay, so we have Libra, Sagittarius, or Aries. This could be the person that you're dealing with here. Someone's also born in February and September. That would be you or another person. Okay, we have 1985 and 1965. And September birthdays, we have September 14th, September 16th, you have the 15th, August 31st, September 19th, September 21st, the 22nd, September 1st. Okay, okay, okay. All right, you guys, let's get into your charms and see what your charms have to say. Oh, wow. I love when that we get this. You've got two hearts here. Okay, you see those two hearts entwined? Yep. Very significant for some of you. This is about two lovers for sure. Hearts and twine. That could be a twin flame right there. Um, why do I say that? Because when I look at this upside down, that looks like a twin flame to me. All right. You got a twin flame. You also have a single heart. A very big single heart. Someone has a very big heart for sure. Wow. Wow. And now you've got a double star. So two hearts and two stars. This is another twin. Well, you know, stars are balls of fire. So another twin flame. Hearts and stars. Very beautiful. A lot of this is playing out right now. I'm just feeling like it's very celestial. You also have um, a leaf. <laughs> um, they just told me Canada. As soon as I looked. Oh, is that the maple leaves? I don't know. I just I just heard Canada. Something about Canada. British Columbia, perhaps. Even this looks like a flame. Oh. 
Uh, someone's name might be Leaf. I don't know if anybody would have that name anymore. But this even, this looks like a flame. So something here to do with um, a leaf. Maple syrup, pancakes, Canada. Um, and here's, wow, a heart key. Okay, so there is going to be this. I, I do feel like strongly with this, there is going to be somebody who's receiving a key to someone's front door or giving a key to someone's front door. So like I said, there is some type of relocating or moving happening as well. You could be getting key to a new vehicle or a new home in December or giving a key to someone or getting new keys, you and another person moving in together as we were seeing that. Let's see if there's any other charms. Hmm. Okay. So does someone have a Dalmatian? We have a Dalmatian dog. Do you have 101 Dalmatians? I don't think so. But yeah, someone might have a Dalmatian. Spotty cute dog. Let's see what else you have. Okay. Wow. Just like I said, very celestial energy. Look at this. I can't hold these both up at the same time, but very celestial. We've got two plant. We've got a planet and a and a moon, quarter moon. Hmm. You guys, okay. This is a planet, but it's got. It's not actually a planet. Hold on. It looks like one, but it's not. It's actually. It's got constellations in it. Do you see the Big Dipper or the Little Dipper? There's something here to do with nighttime, the stars, the moon, constellations, something to do with space. Someone thinks you're stellar, Virgo. Someone thinks, or you might call someone stellar, but someone thinks you are like you're stellar, man. You're so like you are stellar. <laughs> Wait, isn't that Incubus? Yeah, maybe somebody likes that Incubus song. Isn't what's that the name of the song? Meet me, meet me in outer space. I will hold you close. Yeah, like I can't sing like Brandon Boyd, but you know what I mean. Um, there's definitely some stellar energy. Maybe Virgo, you have Vir Virgo stellium could be for some of you. And get another charm. These I love these charms, and I'm really feeling the charms tonight. Okay, now this is like a baby rattle, but in immediately when I saw it, they said snail. Something to do with a snail. So I know that's not a snail, but as soon as I saw it, I heard the word snail. So it could be connected to you've been waiting to hear back from someone and they've been as slow as a snail. But like I said, they will be back. They will return. They will respond to your message. You don't have to worry about that. All right. And then the last but not least, which I'm not really sure that what this is, but you've got like a anchor with some rope around it. <laughs> Virgo's gonna like throw a rope around this person and anchor them to the to the ground. So see something to do with the sea. There's something to do with the sea. You're connected to the sea in some way. It's either your favorite place, you love the sea, or you, you actually live at the sea, or you're you're from near the sea. Maybe you're on an island somewhere, I don't know, but there's a connection to the sea that is extremely significant to you, which is connected to this reading. But I'm going to leave that there, because I think that even though it wasn't as long, it was very potent. So I hope that you got some insight from this message. And again, if you want to get a personal reading, click on the link in the description box below this video. That will take you right to my link tree. And right at the top, it says holiday special discounted readings where you can book right from there. All right, you guys. So I hope you had a fantastic Sunday and a great Monday. And I will see you all back here tomorrow. All right. Take care. Bye.